Today, I'm going to be upgrading and remodeling my old terrarium. I started my day with a nice little walk in the woods. That way, I could pick out all the plants I wanted to go inside. So, I've had this terrarium for about six years now, and most of the plants did die off, but of course, some of them did survive. My most impressive survivor was this one little moss, and my fairy was starting to look a little terrifying from all the decay. I went in and started scooping out all the old dirt by hand, and it smelled terrible, and then I went ahead and put in some river rocks at the bottom. I left some of the old dirt for the bacteria and added some potting soil as well. Next came my favorite part, actually adding the plants, because I love anything that has to do with gardening. And as I was planting them, I realized I gathered way more plants than I needed, but it just gave me a bigger selection to choose from. I honestly don't really know my fungus, but while I was on the walk, I found a really cool one, so I gathered that as well and got this nice little stick for it to go on. And of course, my mighty survivor moss had to go back into the tank, exactly where it was to begin with. Then I added a totally different type of moss as filler to fill up the bare parts of the tank. Once I was pleased with all the plant placement, it was time to go in and add all the fairy details. I also took my little fairy girl inside for a good washing. I never noticed that one of her eyes was so much higher than the other. Oh well, honey, I still love you. Now with everything in place, I went in with a paper towel to wipe all the dirt off the side of the tank for better viewing. The terrarium was definitely coming together. It looked so much more lively than even the first time I planned it, and I was super happy with everything inside. The whole point of a terrarium is that you don't have to water it daily. The crucial part is adding the water afterwards and making sure it's sealed tight. Then you put it on a windowsill and you have your own sustaining ecosystem. I can't wait to see how it grows.